Hello, my name is Pablo, and today I'll be showing you how to solve a magnetic field three-line wire problem where all three wires are in parallel. This problem is from Quiz 9, Spring 2021, and the problem states, three long wires carrying a direct current is shown. Find the magnetic field at the midpoints A and B in air. So for these problems, we'll be using the curl right-hand rule, where your thumb points directly to the direction of the current, and while you curl your hand, that will dictate the direction of the magnetic field. I will explain more about it as we solve the problem. Some other things that we want to know is that when the direction of the magnetic field points out of the page, the direction is positive, and when it points straight into the page, we're going to find that as negative. Another formula that we'll be using for these type of problems is Ampere's Law for a Wire went ahead and solved it on the right hand side but basically the magnetic field for a wire is mu naught i n over 2 pi r where r stands for the distance go ahead and write that down distance okay so for the first part of the problem we want to find the magnetic field at midpoint a so the magnetic field at midpoint a will actually be the contributions of the magnetic field of each one of the wires. So I went ahead and labeled the wires one, two, three. So the magnetic field of wire one on midpoint A plus the magnetic field of, mid of wire two plus the magnetic field of wire three. So all the effects of all of them on, on midpoint A, the sum of it will equal to the magnetic field on mid midpoint A. So for the first wire, We'll go ahead, we're going to go ahead and line up our thumb with the direction of the current, which is pointing up. This direction is pointing up, and as we curl our hand, we see that it is pointing out of the page on the left-hand side of it. Therefore, it's pointing into the page on the right-hand side as it curls back in. The second wire is the same as the first wire, pointing out of the page on the left-hand side of it. And as it curls in, it's pointing into the page on the right hand side of it. For wire three, our thumb is pointing down. Therefore, we see that on the right of it, it is pointing out of the page, and on the left hand side of it, it is pointing into the page. Okay, so therefore, we see that the dominating direction of the magnetic field is into the page, so we know that we're going to get a negative number when we solve for the magnetic field mathematically. So for B1, we're going to go ahead and use the B wire problem that we have on the right hand side. So mu naught I n over 2 pi R1 for wire 1. And this number is going to be negative because we observe that wire 1 is pointing into the page, and we said that into the page is negative. So negative, mu naught i n over 2 pi r 1. The second wire is pointing out of the page, which is positive. So mu naught i n over 2 pi r 2. Third wire is pointing into the page, which is negative as well. Mu naught i n over 2 pi r 3. That's what we would get. We can go ahead and take out mu naught i n over 2 pi. So inside we're left with 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 minus, minus 1 over r3. We are going to go ahead and Add in what R1, R2, and R3 are. So like I said, they're the distances. So point A to the midpoint, that's just 1. So negative 1 over 1 plus R2, which is 1 as well. And then R3, which is going to be all this, which is 2. And then to get to the midpoint, it's another 1, so that's 3. 1 over 3. If we go ahead and multiply that out and add it up, 
we are going to get negative mu naught i n over 6 pi. And as we said, if it's a negative, that means into the page. So therefore, this will be mu naught i n over 6 pi into the page. For our final answer, for b a. Okay, so that's the first half of the problem. And for the second half of the problem, we want to know what the magnetic field is now on midpoint B. So midpoint B, which is right here, I'm going to go ahead and use the bottom wires. So the first wire, let me go ahead and label these again, one, two, three. The first wire is going out of the page on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, it is going into the page. The second wire on the left-hand side of it is going out of the page. On the right-hand side, is going into the page as well. And for the last wire, line up our thumb down, curl it in with our fingers are curling. We observe that it's going out of the page on the right of it and then into the page on the left of it. So we see that the dominating direction is into the page. So we know that our answer will be negative. Okay. Let's go ahead and solve for it now. So BB is equal to the contribution of B1, the contribution of B2, wire 2, this contribution of wire 3, this magnetic field. Okay. So B1, it's into the page. So it's going to be negative mu naught i n over 2 pi r1, the direction, minus mu naught i n 2 pi r2, minus mu naught i n 2 pi r3. I'm going to go ahead and take out all the mu naught i n's and leave it outside the problem. Inside, we're going to be left with negative 1 over r1, minus 1 over r2, minus 1 over r3. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Now we will go ahead and enter the actual direction. So r1 is going to be 2, 1, so it's going to be 3. Minus 1 over 1, because that's just the direction of it, and then, I mean the distance from it, and then 1 over 1. 1 over 1 as well. Go ahead, add those up, multiply it out, and we are going to get negative 7 mu naught i over 6 pi. As I, we stated up on top, a negative number means that it is into the page. Therefore, the magnetic field at B is going to equal to 7 u naught i 6 pi into the page as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. So we found the magnetic field on point A right here on top. And we also found the magnetic field at point B for this problem. I hope this uh, short explanation helps you understand how to find the magnetic field of a wire and helps you out for future quiz problems and homework problems. And once again, thank you for listening and good luck during the semester.